Today's journey starts in Erbil, Iraqi Kurdistan. We will travel back in time to Nineveh Governorate to Al Kush, a home of Assyrians who mostly follow the Chaldean Catholic Church. Close to this town, hidden in mountains, lies the Rabban Indomitz Monastery, established in 640 AD by the Assyrian Church of the East. This monastery is named after its founder, Rabban Hormitz, originating from Persia. He lived a hard, stern life dedicated to religion and medicating. This place, full of history, has endured numerous challenges throughout the ages, including attacks by conqueror Timur, Ottomans, and the threat from the Islamic State about 10 years ago. ISIS failed to reach the town because of the intervention of Kurdish forces Peshmerga and local Assyrian militia. The monastery leads to numerous narrow caves inside al Kush mountain, which can be only approached by crawling. The caves were used for hundreds of years for medicating. This place serves as a powerful symbol of strength for the Assyrians, one of the oldest Christian communities. Now, let's move from al Kush closer to Mosul. After one hour of drive, a view on Marmatai Monastery opens. Daria de Mormatai, in local language, holds a significant place in history as one of the oldest Christian monasteries. Now the monastery is maintained by the Syriac Orthodox Church and has its own bishop. Its founder, Marmatai, fled persecution under the Roman Emperor Julian and the legend tells of Marmatai's miraculous healing powers. He healed the children of Assyrian king Sennacherib II. The king was furious that his children converted to Christianity and killed them. After that, as a penance, the king built this monastery on Marmatai's request. The date of this event is traditionally set to December 10th, 352. Marmatai monastery faced numerous of attacks and challenges throughout the ages. In 480, a massive fire destroyed many manuscripts. The monastery used to have rich libraries containing thousands of manuscripts. Several years ago, the threat was imminent. ISIS had advanced to the valley just a few kilometers from the monastery. At that time, some of the villages below had been evacuated and their inhabitants were temporarily transferred to the monastery. Marmatai Monastery once housed as many as 7,000 monks. Today, the number dramatically reduced to just a few. Did you enjoy this video and want to see more content from Iraq? Hit the subscribe button. I am staying in Iraq for 9 months and I will share much more videos.